Excuse me, sorry, I'm in a rush. Osnabrück, 2nd of July, 1937. On this mild summer's day, a Friday, five people bid farewell to Osnabrück. Four of these people have to leave Osnabrück because they are Jewish and no longer feel safe in the city. The fifth is leaving her hometown for the sake of her boyfriend. It was an atmosphere of complete oppression and fear. Their names? Alfred Gossels, Augusta Minna Tormann, Justus Nussbaum, Sophie Nussbaum, and Marianne Nussbaum. Their destination? Amsterdam, capital of the Netherlands. Two of their workers, Wilhelm Hellmeister and Friedrich Niehuser, are helping with the emigration. I find it quite fascinating that a persecuted Jew and his non-Jewish workers had so much trust in one another that the employees helped their boss to flee. He did not talk much about it because my mother was pregnant. I think they had their company office in the old town, but the scrapyard was somewhat further out. The flight of Justus and Alfred was not only well planned, it had also been a long time in preparation. One thing's for sure, jewellery, silver and gold cutlery, porcelain, books and especially valuable paintings are being driven from Osnabrück to Amsterdam. Are the trips very risky? Does nobody in sleepy little Osnabrück really notice what's going on? It was dangerous. The Jews had nothing left to lose. I think Justus is just smiling outwardly, that he is hiding fear behind the smile. As if it was my own decision to leave. I'm a man from Osnabrück. You don't understand a thing about politics. He was, after all, German. This business with the Jews will come to a bad end. Could my great-granddad have guessed what had happened to Gossels and Nussbaum? They couldn't have found out from official sources. On the trail of Alfred and Justus in Amsterdam. Eichmann saying, no, they're Jews, they need to go with everybody else. It's, uh, we're, the final solution is here, we have to take care of that. We soon hope to have no Jews left freely walking the streets of the Netherlands. He was also so exhausted and miserable that he could barely stand on his feet. I do not understand and I never will. <laughs> 